Hello, hello, Valiant streaming here. Welcome on in, everyone. Here we are again, back on I'm Valiant. Guys, we're here to do a quest. Let's do no more than spin that wheel. Let's do it. The feud looks like it could very well come up. Let's see what we get. Let us see what we get. Amazingly, it's not the feud. It's Twilight's Promise. I think that's one of the new ones, right? I think Twilight's Promise. Feud, where is it? Twilight's Promise. I can start this quest by talking to Ennius and Furia Tullus outside the Sunrise Palace in Civitus Illa Fortis. All right, it is one of the new ones. Requirements, Children of the Sun, Combat Level 40. Guys, that's where we're going. I will bring you back in just a few minutes when we're closer. See you there. Okay, guys, here we are. We are outside Varrock Bank. We've got our coins. We've got a anti-poison, super attack, super strength. We've got a prayer potion. We've got our teleport runes, usual rope, lantern, and a bit of food. It doesn't say much. Now, I've opted for... Someone mentioned this to me before. Try and make a balance between your armor, maybe, and your running. So, I've gone for lighter armor this time. Not much. I know it's not much, but I've gone for lighter. Because my, my breastplate weighs a ton, we haven't used the, the big two-handed sword either. Right, let's get there. Who do we travel to again? Who do we talk to, rather? Ennius and Furia Tullis. Okay, that's those here, isn't it? I have, I have been around this place a lot, so I know a little bit. Right, let's talk to this one. Is this the one? I believe so. Doesn't look like much. Start the Twilight's promi Promise quest. Yes. Hey, I recognise you two. You were part of the delegation in Varrock. Indeed we were. More than part of, we organised the whole thing. As was our duty. The prince could have contributed. Do not air your dirty laundry in public, brother. Huh. You. The prince wishes to speak with you. He awaits you at the temple. Where do I find this temple? On the other side of the bazaar, south of here. Okay, guess I should get going then. Indeed. Alright, we actually do know where the temple is. We've been down there. We have been down there. I believe it's just through here on the left, right? Do you know what I haven't brought? Any, uh... I haven't brought any run speed potions. Right, so this is the temple. Hold on. Ah! They direct me to speak with Prince in the temple. Well, this is the temple. Okay. I know your face. I have seen it a thousand times before. Uh, I think you must be have me confused with someone else. We've never met. Yes and no. This is our first encounter, and yet I know you better than most. You wear the face of my only true companion. You wear the face of death. Your only companion is death? You should probably get out more. You jest, as your kind often do. Is that how you drown out their screams? I wonder. Is that how you hide your pain? Well, things got deep very quickly. Is this how you normally introduce yourself to someone? You seek an introduction with the sect of Ranul. They spend their days in Ralos's light. The darkness hides an inevitable truth that they prefer to shy away from. Right. So who actually are you? I am Metzli. Tearkan of Ranul, you I already know. You are the one that saved the life of my counterpart. Tearkan? So there are two of you? Yes. As Tearkan of Ranul, I lead the sect of Ranul. My counterpart, Servius, leads the Church of Ralos. I 
I'm meant to be meeting Prince Itzla here. Yes, you are. He is speaking with Servius down in the crypt. Not a place you'd normally find the Tyrkan of Ralos, but the prince desired the privacy and only Renault can offer. Um, could you tell me more about the Church of Ralos? Those who worship the light can be found throughout these lands, and it is the Church of Ralos that leads their worship. If you wish to learn more, you should seek out Servius or one of his Teoki. They will be better placed to guide you than I, for my duty is one of darkness, not light. Could you tell me more about the sect of Renal? Ralos's light can be found all across Valamor, but when that light fades, there is only one who can guide us through the darkness. Ranul? Yes, you will not find many worshippers of Ranul in your travels. Indeed, many choose to hide from him their whole lives, but no matter what, we will all meet Ranul in the end. When the sun sets, it is he that will guide us. He will lead us through the gates of Mikkel to where we may finally rest. The duty of the sect of Ranul is to ensure that all are prepared for their journey. All right, I better get going. <laughs> oh well. Right, let's go down here. Apparently, apparently he's in here somewhere. Okay, you in here, buddy? Ah, oh, there's somebody here. So, ah, yes, here we go. Here we go! Alright, let's talk to the prince. Ah, there you are. Neil Salt, adventurer. I don't believe you've properly met my father. This is Servius, the Teokern of Ralos, and the man whose life you saved. Your father? I didn't realise you were related. Yes, very fun stuff. All a bit of a convoluted mess as well. I'll be sure to tell you all about it at some point. For now though, Valiance, meet Servius. Servius, meet Valiance. Nilsal, my child. It is an honour to meet you. Were it not for you, I may well already be making my journey to Mictal. On behalf of both myself and Relos, I thank you. Well, let's not start celebrating just yet. There's reason why we're lurking in this crypt. Sorry about that, by the way. I'd have much rather given you a proper welcome to, on your arrival, but given the situation, it's probably best we take a bit more care. It's not a problem, although I did have an interesting encounter on my way. Ah, the Tullus twins. Fascinating pair, aren't they? Actually, I was talking about Metzli. I met her upstairs. Oh, you met her? My deepest sympathies. Metzli and her sect play an essential role in our lives. You should not judge her so harshly. You're quite right, of course. But anyway, shall we get down to business? Sounds like a plan. Kwani, so we have quite the predicament on our hands. My mother isn't too happy, oddly enough, and has tasked me with sorting it all out. Someone wants our dear Tirka our dear Tyrkan dead, and we have no idea who. All we know is that they were a Valamorian. A Valamorian who had access to the mainland before the treaty was signed. Surely that limits the options a fair bit? Right you are, Valiants. In fact, it limits them to just the members of our little delegation. In other words, myself, Servius, the Tullius twins, and our retinue of knights. Now, I don't think it was me, and I'm guessing you didn't try to arrange your own assassination, Servius. I'd like to think I'd have done a better job if I had. Too right. Very sloppy work. A top example of how not to assassinate someone. Still, probably best we track them down, all the same. So that leaves the Tullus twins and the knights. Ennius and Furia are loyal children of Ralos. They would not wish to see my death. Those knights should also be loyal children of Ralos, but I agree, they are far more likely candidate. Let us investigate them and see what we can find. Servius, until we have this matter sorted, you should remain here in the capital. The palace will be the safest place. 
Nonsense. I am the Tyrkan of Rallos, and I have a duty to the people. I must return to the Tiamat once. The Tiamat does not offer protection of the palace. You'll be an easy target there. I'm the chosen messenger of Rallos. He would not have me cower and hide. I will return to the Tiamat. Well, this is a terrible idea that's definitely going to blow up in all our faces later. But it seems you have made your decision. However, I insist that you let me personally accompany you. My child, I would be delighted to have you as a travelling companion. Valiance, since Severus, Servius, here, seems keen on letting this killer have another go, you'll need to investigate the knights on your own. I'm sure I can manage that. Guani, head up to the palace and find the Tullus twins. They dealt with all the fun admin work. They'll know where those knights can be found. I'll get to it right away. Then it sounds like we're all set. Timoeva and may the sun light your way. Timoeva, my child. All right, interesting. Interesting. We've, uh, we've got to find our way back out of here. <laughs> I think it was just here, right? I think so. So we're going back up to see the twins. Oh, how the heck do we get out there? Did I? Oh, here are the stairs. I was going to say, did I come the wrong way? I couldn't see any stairs. Come on now. Let's keep it together. Let's go back up through. This is the bazaar, I think, isn't it? The bazaar, yes. Let's go through the bazaar. So far, so good. Just a, a bit of uh, light reading. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're back at the twins. It seems the prince has new chores for us. You do not know that. Why else would he have sent the adventurer back to us? You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Thank you. I do not believe that was a compliment, brother. Oh, well then let's get to it then. What does the prince need now? He's asked me to investigate the knights who were part of the delegation to Varrock. He suspects one of them may have been involved in the plot to kill the Tyrkan. Has he forgotten that he himself leads the knights of Valamor? Surely he'd be best placed to deal with any of their wrongdoings. He's staying with Ser Servius in case there's another attempt on his life. It is wise to keep the Tyrkan under close protection, and we are well placed to support this investigation, if you say so. The delegation consisted of six knights. Given recent events, I requested they make us aware of their activities. I suggest you seek them out and ask them to return here. Aaron and Claudia should be at the bazaar. Nell will be at the Cothon. Velum and Azali will be somewhere in Outer Fortis, likely at the pub. Mezen will be at the Colosseum. What if any refuse to come? This crest will mark you as a representative of the Queen herself. Show it to them and they will not refuse. Not unless they fancy revealing themselves as the traitor, which doesn't seem likely. Furia gives you a crest. Right, the bazaar we know where it is, but Kothon, where can I find the Kothon? From here, just take the eastern path past the museum. Once you reach the water, you have found the Kothon. Okay. Where can I find the outer fortress? It's the part of the city outside the main walls. Head south from here and you'll find it on the other side of the gates. Okay. Head to the pub once you get there. That's likely where Valum and Azalea are. Colosseum, I know where it is, and the bazaar. Right, let's go. Let's do the bazaar first. We're close to the bazaar. Is it going to tell us all this in here? Yeah, okay. I need to convince the two knights at the bazaar to return to the palace. Right, let's find the knights in the bazaar. How bazaar? Do the knights even look like? Is that one? No citizen. Ah, knights. Okay, yes, I remember them now. Right, talk to the Knight of Valamor. Hello there. 
Nilsal, can we help you? Ennius and Furia Tullus need you to return to the palace. If that were so, have you proof? Well, it just so happens I have. You show the crest to the knights. Hmm. Well, we're not going anywhere until our work here is done. If you want us back at the palace, you'd best help. I can do that. What do you need? A band of thieves has been active here recently, but we came up with a way to track them down. We planted a nice shiny amulet on one of the stalls. Sure enough, it was stolen soon after. Find the amulet and tell us who was carrying it. We can then follow them right to the rest of their group. How will I find it? Beat them at their own game. Go looking through a few pockets. Well, this doesn't sound totally orthodox, but fair enough. I'll be back soon. Okay, I guess we are going to be trying to rob off people. Pickpocket. Oh, we got it. You pick the man's pocket and find the stolen amulet. That was a bit uh, kind of random. Okay, we've got it. Let's go back and tell them. You have the amulet. I have it right here. That man in blue over there had it. Good work. He'll lead us right to those thieves. So, you'll return to the palace now? We'll be there once the thieves are dealt with. It won't take us long. Well, good luck then. You give the amulet to the knights. So is that one done? Yes. What about this one? I need to convince the knights at the Kothon. The Kothon. Now where did they even say the Kothon was again? Can I see the Kothon on the map? Is this it? The Fortis Kothon? It's got to be the Kothon. Colosseum. Outer? Hold on a moment. Let's get. Let's do it in the order. Then. Let's go. I guess we go this way. I think. No, this is the wrong way. Hold on. Wait. There's one here. They said though somewhere. I'm getting a bit confused. Just my directions coming out of there. And at the Cothon. The Outer Fortis Pub. Right, the Outer Fortis Pub. We are at Outer Fortis. Don't see a pub though, right? Oh, oh pub, it's there. All right, so that must be it. Let's go see. Let's get to it. It's not that, it's further up. Master Farmer, this must be the... Yeah, there they are. Sure as eggs are eggs, the knights are in the pub. Alright. Knight of Valamore. Hello. Well, look who it is. Uh, I don't know you. Oh. I told you not to have that last one. Look at you. Stop whining, I'm fine. Right. The two of you have been asked to report to the palace as soon as you can. Report? I don't think so. It's our day off. Sorry, but I have this crest here that says otherwise. You show the crest to the knights. Ah, now that's going to be a problem. How so? Azalee here can't go showing up to the palace in this state. We need to sober her up. Hmm, where's the nearest fountain? There's one outside the gates, just to the east of here. But how does a fountain help? Well, there's nothing like a little dunk to sober up a bit. Azalee, come with me. Oh, we're going somewhere. How exciting. Okay, where are we going? To the fountain? Hold on. Matt. Oh, well, I guess we're going here. Okay, I guess we're going to dunk this poor lass in the fountain. Come on. You're going too fast. Come on. I've stopped. Talk to them. This way, Azalee. Okay. 
Oh, okay, it's, it's something like... Alright, so I guess we've got it. It's like some of the quests in WoW, isn't it? Hmm, that looks interesting. It's like there's one in WoW that you have to do this. Stay close enough to them and keep going back and coaxing them along. Come on. <laughs> looks interesting, but come this way. Okay. All right, there we go. Sorted. She's struggling a little. Oh, she dunked her own head. At least we didn't have to dunk her head. Is my coffee ready, guys? Let's just see. Hold on. Still very hot, but nice. Oh, boy. Feeling a bit better now. Not exactly. Well, it will have to do. You're needed over at the palace. This day is the worst. Fine, I'll head over there soon. Okay. So that should be another one done. Yes, we've got two to do. Kothon and the Colosseum. Colosseum. Alright, let's go and do the Kothon then. Straight up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. There's the knight there. Hello there. I'm here on behalf of Ennius and Furry Atullus. They need you to return to the palace immediately. You're working for the Tullus twins. Do you have proof? You show the crest to the knight. Huh. Fair enough. I'm happy to return to the palace, but I can't until I finish my work here. What is it you're doing? Maybe I can help get it done faster. With the recent opening of the kingdom, the Kothon has become much busier. Good for business, of course, but not so good when it comes to smugglers. We've had a tip-off that there's a ship here, involved in weapon smuggling, but we don't know which one. If you can find the crate of weapons and tell me what ship it's from, I'll be able to return to the palace much faster. Sounds easy enough. You say that now, but there's no shortage of crates around here. Thankfully, the tip-off did give us some information that might help you find it. The crate should be on the docks rather than on a ship. It's of a standard size and isn't part of a stack. It's directly next to two fish barrels and opposite a bench. Good to know. I'll get to it and let you know what I find. Right, so we're looking for fish barrels. And a bench. Okay, there's a bench here. Bench there. Bench there. Two fish barrels and a bench. Okay. Search this crate. Search crate, but you don't find the weapons you're looking for. Right, okay. I mean, I guess we could search these ones, but... Oh, wait, look there. Two fish barrels and a crate. Must be here, maybe. Must be here, maybe. What am I talking about? It's not. And it's not a stacked one. Right. This is a tricksy thing, isn't it? Bench there, but no fish barrels. Bench there, but only one fish barrel. It's got to be two. And it did say next to two. Or did it say in between two? This is this could well be it. Look, fish barrel, fish barrel, bench. No. Let's go try this one over here. Ah, do you know what? It's there. Look. Two fish barrels. It has to be here and a bench. This has to be it, right? You search the crate and find it to be full of weapons. A label on the crate reads the Fortis Spark. So I guess it's come from the Fortis Spark. Let's just remember that name for a moment. The Fortis Spark. We're out of uh, run energy. But we've done this one, I think. I do like Valamore, guys. It's very cool. 
it's a very cool place. Good music, lovely graphics, you know. Any luck finding that crate? Yes, I found it. The ship it's from is called the Fortis Spark. Perfect. That's my work here done then. I'll return to the palace shortly. Timoiva. Great. All right, that should be the other one done. Out to Fortis. Yes, we've just got the Colosseum one to do. Let's go to the Colosseum, just out here. Do, 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 do. Wow, what's with a bright light here? The sun's shining on me really badly. Now, let me do that. The sun's shining through my door. It's going to open again. Watch. No hands. My hands are here. Watch the light on my face again. Here it comes. There we go. Let's try and push that right to. And stay. Done. Much better. Right. Hold on. Out we go. That's the Colosseum up there. I haven't actually been in the Colosseum yet. It's one place I haven't been. I've been around a fair amount around here. I've done quite a bit of thieving here, I have to be honest with you. A little bit of hunter work as well. All right, here we go. We're in the Colosseum. Right, we're looking for... Always to the left. I was just about to say, always to the left. Hi there. Sorry, but I'm waiting for someone. Well, you might need to meet with them some other time. You're needed back at the palace. You don't work for the palace. Why would they send you? I'm working directly for the prince. You show the crest to the knight. Brand new here and already working for the prince. Strange. Maybe, but like I say, you're needed at the palace. And I'll return there, eventually. First, I'm here for some training, but it seems my training partner is a no-show. Hmm, you look like you could, you know a thing or two. You can take his place. I can? Yes, join me in the Colosseum for some training. Once we're done, I'll return to the palace. Oh, and bring two attack styles in with you. I want some variety, and it will help me test my faith in Ralos. Oh. Two attack styles. I've only got one. Um, okay, let me go and grab something from the bank. Wait. Wait, I can cast spells. Is that going to work? If I cast a spell? Is that classed as an attack style? I can melee them and cast a spell, maybe. I'm ready. Let's do this. I would have gone and got my bow. Maybe this will work. Oh, we're straight in, look. I hope this works, actually. Oh, we're beating him anyway. Okay, he's protected. So maybe if we just cast a fireball. Oh, this is not going to work, is it? Can't hit him. Okay, we did. Oh no, I don't even have a staff on, so I've got to do it like this, look. This is similar to that Dagonoff thing I had to fight. Oh my goodness. And the ones in the desert. Oh my gosh, we're not good at this. This, guys, is why Val don't use magic. Come on, we need to make him change his prayer, maybe. I hope he's going to change his prayer, otherwise we could be here a while. I didn't bring much food with me. Okay, this might not work. I don't know how else to do this. Okay, that's a, a hit. 
Okay, he switched. Now let's just melee him. Kill him, please. Go. Big hit. Finish him. <laughs> Should have just gone back to the bank. It would have been easier. No joke. <laughs> Talk about magic training. <laughs> Finally. That was a nightmare. You fought well in there. I should train with you more often. So you'll return to the palace now? Yes, I'll head over there shortly. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, now what? Do we just go back to the palace? I returned... To the palace, the knights. I should speak to them again. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's run as well. We can actually run. Uh oh, is this the right way? This is the. It is the right. It's a super steep hill. All right. So far, this is an interesting quest, right? It's fun. We've got a few bits we've done. You know, finding stolen stuff, fighting someone in the Colosseum, thieving from a beggar, uh, dragging someone out the pub. <laughs> Gosh, this place is bigger than you think, isn't it? Just to run from there to here. Crazy. Okay, where are they? Are they up here now? Oh, there they are. Have you spoken to all the knights? Yes, they should be here soon. Six knights, but likely only one traitor. How do you intend to work out who it is? Well, I'm going to guess asking nicely won't work. After they were picked for the delegation, the knights were granted beds in the Qualtry headquarters, just west of here. I would suggest you search there for anything of note. We'll keep the knights busy until you're done. Okay, I'll be back soon. What did they want me to do? Search their quarters. Um, all right, they said it was this way. I mean, oh, there, quality. <laughs> it lets us know for sure, right? It's in here. Um, upstairs, I'm guessing, if we're searching their quarters. Another stairs? Okay. Ah, yes. Got to be here at the beds, right? Chests. Let's get in there. Find nothing. Okay, there's two in here. Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. Okay, there are more. There are some more. Let's keep on going. You search the chest and find a letter inside. Okay, what does the quest say first before we read this letter? Okay, so... Should we search other things, just in case? Nothing. You know, there could be more than one involved, right? Okay, nothing. Now then, we've covered the bases there. Let's read the letter. Velon, long have you waited. So patiently, so dutifully. Now, at long last, you have been graced with the most glorious of duties. For the day of our destiny is fast approaching. The Tearcan will soon travel to the east, and you will be selected to accompany him. You must ensure he never returns. Only with his demise can Twilight's promise begin. Only with his demise will we see the final dawn. The end of the world? It's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> right, let's go back down the stairs. 
Let's drink some more coffee as well. We don't have much run energy left, so I'm going to save it in case we're still running around. But it's looking like this could be the end, right? They're going to know whose bed that's, that is, where the chest was. Let's see. Coffee was amazing. I'd like to say all coffee is amazing, but some of it's just not. Right? right, so who are we going to talk to now? These guys again, I'm going to guess. Did you find anything in the Quality headquarters? I found a letter to one of the knights. It seems that Vellum is our traitor. You are sure? The letter directed him to arrange the death of the Tearcan. It also mentioned something called Twilight's Promise and something else called the Final Dawn. Then it sounds like Vellum has some explaining to do. This should be fun. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Which one's Vellum? Vellum, step forward. Vellum, you have been found to be a traitor to the Kingdom of Valamor. What? I don't understand. We know you attempted to arrange the murder of the Tearcan of Ralos. Do you have anything to say about this? This isn't true. Someone must have set me up. Your lies mean nothing here. Your guilt has already been proven. No, this isn't right. For you, this is the only thing that's right. Oh, shoot! I think Ennius Tullus is evil. The rest of you are dismissed. I think he set him up. We'll see. You killed him? What were you expecting? That we'd invite him to sit down for dinner and drinks? I don't know how they do things where you come from. You're in Valamor now. This is how we deal with traitors. We should have questioned him. Now we have no idea who he was working for. Well, it's done now, so little point dwelling on it. Little point? While my brother may have been a touch too hasty, he is right. What's done is done. You should return to the prince and let him know. I... Fine. Itzla and S Servius said they were going to something called a Tiamat. Makes sense. The Tiamat is the centre of all religion in Valamor. The Tiercan would have been eager to return to his home. You'll find the Tiamat atop Ralos Rise, but it's quite the walk from here. You should speak to Regulus Sento outside about a faster method of travel. You should not waste time. The Prince will be eager to hear what you've discovered. All right, I'll go and see Regulus. Okay. All right. Can we run a little now? So, we've got to go and talk to Regulus. Okay. Nilsal Adventurer, do you wish to return to Varrock? I was told to ask you about getting to the tier map. Ah, Kwani. Well, you'll be pleased to know that Prince Itzla has already granted me permission to give you your very own Quetzal, free of charge. My own Quetzal? That's one of these, isn't it? That's right, and I've already picked out the perfect one. This here is Renu. This one. She finished training not too long ago and has been eagerly awaiting her first rider. Renu perks up at the sound of her name. Now, Renu here isn't as experienced as Primio, so don't expect her to be taking you too far. However, she's more than capable of flying anywhere in Valamor, provided there's somewhere suitable to land. You'll find that we already have plenty of landing sites all across the kingdom, and more are being built all the time. You could probably even build a few of your own if you wanted. Interesting. Now, why don't you two properly introduce yourselves to each other? I have the perfect thing here to help you with that. Regulus gives you some Quetzal feed. Okay. 
Let's feed them then. Let's do it. Hello Renault. I have something for you here. Renault eagerly takes the feed from you. Okay. Kwani, I reckon she'll let you ride her now. Alright. So what's all this then? It's locked. They're all locked. That one's not. That's to here though. Sunset Coast. Nothing there. How Torom. The Tiamat. Okay, there. We've got to go there. Can we just go there? The Tiamat? I think it... Okay, cool. I like that. We've unlocked a new music track. The Guidance of Ralos. Now what do we do? Holy moly. Twilight's Promise. With the night dealt with, Ennius and Furus suggested I report to Prince Itzla and Severus at the Tiamat on Ralos. Yes, we've done that. So we've got to find them now. I mean, there. Okay. Okay, let's talk to the prince. Nilsal, Valiance, welcome to the Tiamat. Nilsal, my child. So, how did your investigation go? I found a letter to one of the knights, Velum. The letter instructed him to arrange the death of Cerberus. Tatamo, one of my own knights? I will need to swiftly deal with this. Well, there's actually no need. Ennius killed him as soon as we found out. Ah, excellent. Such should be the fate of all traitors. But Ennius killed him before we could even question him. Hmm, that's unfortunate. It would have been good to know who he was working for. No matter though, I'm sure we'll find another way of getting to the bottom of this. Does it not bother you how quickly Ennius killed him? Is it not a bit odd? Here in Valamore, justice is delivered swiftly and harshly. Ennius may have taken that a bit too literally, but there's not much we can do about that now. But do you not find it suspicious? I find a letter perfectly implicating one of the knights, but he's then quickly killed before he can be questioned. Seems like a pretty good way of covering things up, don't you think? The Tullus family have loyally served the rulers of Valamore since the death of Emperor Imafor. The one of them, for one of them to be a traitor is unthinkable. It's a dangerous accusation indeed. That said, the family does have a bit of history. How so? My family has not always ruled Valamore. In fact, it was the Tullus family who reigned for the majority of the kingdom's history. That all ended when good old Imafor declared the kingdom to be his new empire. He celebrated by going on a nice little murder spree. One more letter, one more later, and dear old Imafor found himself without a head. Had that not happened, the throne would have eventually passed down to Fioria. I think, I believe, she's the slightly older of the two. Right, and you don't think that might be a good reason for her and Ennius to be traitors? Imafor's death was over a hundred years ago. His family had no love for him then, and their no loyalty served the Ark and they've loyally served the Archons since. Yes, very true. I understand your concerns, Valiance, but we have no reason to believe the two of them are traitors. Can we at least agree to keep a closer eye on them from now on? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Very well, I will see that it's done. Now, did your investigation uncover anything else? The letter I found mentioned two things, Twilight's Promise and the Final Dawn. Twilight's Promise? I've never heard of that. I wonder if it has anything to do with the Twilight Emissaries. Twilight Emissaries? A re nice religious cult that has an unhealthy obsession with the end of the world. They keep themselves to themselves. Many don't even know they exist. They've never caused any problems before, so we leave them be. But perhaps it's time to pay a little closer attention to their dealings. And the final dawn? What's that? Nothing more than blasphemy. 
it is not something we should waste our time talking about. As you can see, the final dawn is a bit of a controversial topic. It's a religious belief, an unofficial religious belief. It's an unofficial religious belief concerning the end of the world. Oddly enough, our friends in the Twilight Emissaries are big fans of it. Hmm, where can I learn more about the final dawn? It's not something I care to know about, but if anyone around here were to know, it would be Metzli. The sect of Renal are responsible for maintaining the library here. That includes dealing with any forbidden materials. Metzli returned to the Tiamat shortly before we did. She'll be around here somewhere. Right, I'll go and see if she can help me. Alright, so we've got to find Metzli here somewhere. There, Metzli. We meet again. Not a chance encounter, I see. For it is clear that you want something. I was hoping you could help me with some information. Quite possibly. The sect of Renal know better than most that time sees the end of all things. When we are gone, what remains? Knowledge must be passed on, lest it be lost forever. Yes, what you're describing there is a book. I'm familiar with the concept. But what is a book without the right reader? Words can be misunderstood, misconstrued. That assumes those words were even right to begin with. Think of all that we believe to know. All those words we have read. How many were the truth, I wonder? Okay, well before we go down another rabbit hole, I'm looking for information on the final dawn. The final dawn? This is something I can help with. But first, to understand the final dawn, you must understand Zimawi. Zimau or Zimawa? That's a fancy word. The word is a gift to us from those who walked these lands before we did. They knew the truths of the world in a way we can only dream of. You speak of the old ones. Yes, they understood the importance of passing on their knowledge. So much of what we know comes from them. Ooh, gotta sit up. Hmm, so what is Zimoa? Our world endures in a way we cannot comprehend. Like all things, it will not do so forever. Its light will one day die. This is not something to be feared, it is something to be embraced. You see, we are part of a cycle, something far larger than ourselves. When the time comes, Ralos and Ranul will come together as one, consuming these lands in holy fire until there is nothing left but ash. But even in ash, embers remain. From those embers, a new world will be born, and the cycle will continue once more. This is Zimoa. So you think the world will one day end? That's quite something. Not think. No. This knowledge is a gift, one that was passed down to us from the old gods. But you say it yourself. Knowledge passed down can be misconstrued. How can anyone know the truth for sure? It's not like there are any old ones around for us to ask. Indeed, and that is why this is just one interpretation. There are those out there with another. Saktauli, the final dawn. And what do they believe? They do not just believe that the world will end. They believe it is their duty to make it happen. They see it as their singular purpose and will stop at nothing to make it so. These people you speak of, the Twilight Emissaries? It is said that they are amongst those with this belief. I guess I'd better... Valiant, I need you outside now. We have a little bit of an issue. Uh oh. Alright. Oh shoot, what's going down here? Cultist attack. Okay. Enemies defeated, one of eight. We've got to defeat N. Eight. N. Two. Three. Okay, we can do this. Line them up, knock them down. Rawhide. Okay, 
he's a low level. We don't even need to put for this. Uh oh, he's took the high ground. How many are down? Five? Six. Ooh, that was a big hit. Seven. Last one. You should run, buddy. You should run. Oh, too late. Okay, all right. That was interesting. That was interesting. What happened? No. I'm sorry, my prince, but we're not sure. None of the attackers made it inside, but Metzli has disappeared. Metzli? Surely not. Thankfully, the blade missed his heart, but we should get him to the capital as soon as possible. Yes, of course. Ensure no time is wasted. Of course, my prince. We'll go at once. Oh no. Well, this has been a bit of a mess. What do we do now? I'm not sure. Yet. Mother will need informing of what happened here. After that, I'll need some time to consider our next move. I'll be in touch once I have a plan. Timoiva for now, Valiance, and may the sun light your way. Boosh! That's one done, guys! You are awarded one quest point, ability to use Quetzals, Civitus Ilius Fortis Teleport, and 3000 Thieving XP. Total quest points, 198. Do we have a new teleport? <gasps> oh, that's Trollheim. Wait, wait, look, we've got a new teleport to here. Let's go. Very, very nice indeed. Let's do this. Guys, let's remove Twilight's promise off there. Whoosh. We're only down to three quests. I can't actually believe it didn't land on the feud. But it didn't. We all saw the spin. There we go. But guys, that's another one down. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. Like, I'm having a lot of fun in Valamore. I really am. As most of you know, at the minute, this character's on the back burner. Just because he's now only Iron Man and I'm not feeling it. I do have my new guy, Valiant Second. He's he's leveling up really, really fast. If you ever want to catch out, catch him and see what he's doing, check him out on Twitch. There's loads of Twitch VODs. I'm twitching with him every day. So yeah. But until next time, you all be safe. Take care. God bless. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now, guys.